What is up everyone, Jeremy here. In this video, we're checking out the Black Sun Amp Sim from Audio Assault. This Amp Sim is actually free until December 1st, 2021. So if you like what you're about to hear in this video, look for the download link in the description below. Now, I've put together an audio sample that's got some low chugs, some string skipping, and some cleanish or edge of breakup style tones in it. So let's give that a listen, then we'll jump into the session and take a look at how I dialed in these tones, and then take a look at the plugin and its features. All right, so that is the audio sample. So now let's go ahead and break down how I put together those tones and then take a look at the plugin and walk through some of the features. And the first thing I wanna point out is you are noticing there are two different instances of the Black Sun on each of these guitar tracks. And that is because in the first one, I only have the stomp and amp, amp sections on. And then on the second instance, this one here, I only have the cab and effects sections on. I notice the amp is actually off here. And so the cab and effects are on, well, not on this one because it's the heavy chug and tone, uh, but on the cleanish slash edge of breakup style tone, the effects is on on that one. Um, and the reason I, I'm doing that specifically for this demo is because it just makes it much easier for me to just quickly bypass one plugin and then unbypass another one. And the purpose of that is, as you can see here, we're gonna have a listen to this amp running through some additional impulse responses. So stick around to hear what those are and to hear those audio samples. But for now, let's go ahead and break down the tones you just heard. And so this is the heavy tone, starting with the stomps. We're using all three pedals here. Uh, obviously the noise gate, the booster, we're just cutting some of the lows and then boosting up some of the highs. And then our, you know, your typical tube screamer, if you will, you can see the settings I've got here. Then going into the amp again, I won't read all of these. You can see all of the settings there. And then notice we are on the high gain channel here and then Again, the cab section is all turned off. So let's switch to the second instance so you can see what I'm using here. And it is the Black Sun 4x12 cabinet. That's the only thing I'm using. You can see another one's loaded up here, but notice the AB toggle here. It's all on A, which is the Black Sun 4x12. So that is the tone that you heard in the heavy section in the beginning. And I'll go ahead and just solo the guitars here so you can hear what it sounds like soloed. So there you go, I mean, that's a pretty good tone. And the other thing I wanna point out again is that this is a completely free plugin until December 1st, 2021. So don't pass this one up. I mean, obviously this is a great tone and it is so extremely versatile and we're gonna to get to more on that, specific, that topic specifically later in the video. So stick around because I promise you, you're gonna be surprised by the end of this video. You're gonna be like, whoa, you just totally blew my mind, Jeremy. So. Hang on, we're getting there. All right, so that's the heavy tone. Now the cleanish slash edge of breakup style tone here. Let's uh, break that one down. So this is the amp setting. We'll back it up to the stomp. You can see again, we're using all three. You can see the settings I'm using here. Uh, then we go into the amp. Again, notice we're on the low gain channel for this one. And we've got the gain pulled back a good ways. We're cranking up the master, but um, you can see all the individual settings and again the cab is off on that one So we'll switch to the other instance where I have the cab on and it is here and again It's just the black Sun 4 x 12. I tried a lot of these other I tried all of these other high R's and I wasn't Really digging many of them the black Sun 4 x 12 was the best by far So that's what I went with and the effects that I'm using on this tone You can see we're using the chorus the delay and the reverb so those, again, those all come in this plugin. Once again, that is absolutely free until December 1st. 
2021. So here is what this tone sounds like soloed. That's a really good tone for a free plugin. I mean, the, the fact that it has all of these uh, these post effects built in, you've got your stomp section, your your amp, your cab IR loader, and post effects all in a free plugin like this. This is it's crazy, uh, especially with how good this thing sounds. So that is those those are the settings on how I dialed in the tones you heard in the audio sample. Now let's just kind of back it up here and just do a very quick feature overview and then i want to get to some external irs like i mentioned so obviously you've got your tuner here uh and we've already seen all the all of the different individual sections that come in this uh in this uh in this plugin so we have the stomp the amp which of course you can turn on and off adjust all the individual settings change between high and low channel uh, gain channels you've got your cab which is a dual ir loader so you can uh, load up individual impulse responses, blend them between the two to your liking. Um, you can change the level, you can pan them, the low pass and high pass filters for each one of these as well. You can invert the phase on each one. And they have this uh, fancy little feature here to move the mic around, which apparently you're supposed to be able to do on any impulse responses, not even just the ones that they include. Uh, any impulse response that you load, it's supposed to kind of like simulate moving the mic around. Um, I didn't try it myself. It seems kind of gimmicky because it's probably just doing some sort of EQ processing on it. Um, and I didn't really want to do that to the, especially my external IRs. Um, but it's there that you have, have at it, play with it and see if you get any good results with it. Um, but you can basically move it between the, the outside towards the cone or pull it, like move it towards the speaker or further away that kind of stuff. So that's the IR loader. Then you have the effects section, which we just saw. And you have this, was it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine band, graphic EQ. Uh, then you've got your chorus, delay, and reverbs. Oh, and then of course, the last thing is you have your, your input and your output settings. And this little gear toggle on the top has a bunch of additional things, um, like loading presets and, and, and oversampling and graphics and different things. I didn't even play with any of this stuff. I just spent my time dialing in tones, just, just using kind of the default stuff that it comes with. So, you know, feel free to dig into those settings and, and can just kind of see what's there. So that's a quick feature overview of the plugin. There's a lot to it. So now what I want to do is what I had kind of hinted to previously is listen to this amp sim through some additional impulse responses because if you're like me, you're likely not just going to download a plugin and just use all the default stuff in it. You want to you want to experiment with some different tones. Um, maybe you're not digging the, the impulse responses that come with it. Use some of the external ones you probably already have. Or if you don't, check out the Christian Cola IR pack from Bargrin Digital. It's probably my favorite of all time, and you're going to hear that right now. So let's go ahead and do that. So bypassing my second Black Sun instance, which was just for the impulse responses. And let's go ahead and turn on the STL Tones Libra IR loader. And this is the Chainsaw Bliss paired with Swamp of the Dead. So those are the two IRs from the Christian Cola pack that I'm pairing here. And so let's go ahead and have a listen to what these sound like in context, and then we'll hear them soloed. So you get the point. That's what the that's what it sounds like. So let's go ahead and have a listen to these guitar tracks in solo now. And so here is the heavy part in the beginning again with the Christian Cole IRs.
I love those IRs so much. They they sound so damn good, and they cut through a mix. It's 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 incredible. Uh, all right, so let's hear what they sound like on this edge of breakup style tone, which is not what they're designed for. But let's hear what it sounds like. So that is not at all what those IRs were designed for, but damn, do they sound good. I, I really like that. It sounds nice and pristine, nice, some, some good upper mid range and clarity in there. It's it, 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 the way that they're EQ'd. Uh, and that's one of the things about these impulse responses is they're pre EQ'd. That's like part of the impulse responses. It's already been EQ'd and it, they were obviously have EQ'd out some of that lower mud in there because it sounds really, really clean on this clean guitar tone. All right. So, the next one I want to hear is the brand new Get Good Drums Cali Oversized Edition or Studio Cabs Cali Oversized, whatever the hell the name is. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at what I've got going on here. This thing is huge. All right, so we're using three different IRs and mic settings here. So we've got the Massive with an SM57 up front with an R R121 and then guttural with the Fredman technique with 257s. And then you can see uh, we're using primarily the, the massive. We pulled back a little bit of the up front and then pulled back a little more of the guttural. And so you can, and then of course we've got the, the EQing or the kind of the mic placement, if you will, down here for between dark and bright. You can see those settings. We're using the master EQ, which just kind of adds a little more sweetening on the top end, rounds things off a little bit. So those are the settings. Let me make this thing a little smaller because it is enormous. All right, let's go even smaller. Nope. All right, so let's make it this. All right, let's get rid of Libra and then let's have a listen. All right, so that is the Kelly Oversized Edition IRs. And let's go ahead and just make sure I'm not lying to you on these ones. All right, so the cleanish slash, again, edge of breakup style tone, that one does have a little bit of a different setting. I didn't go over it before playing the audio sample. I thought about it while it was playing back. So let's take a look here. We're using smooth, detailed, and upfront. And you can see we're using an SM57, MD421, and an MD421, well, MD421-2, and then a U series. Uh, on these individual cabs, you can see they're all even at zero, and you can see the the bright, bright, and kind of right up the middle between dark and bright on that one. And so that's how I dialed in the the uh, impulse responses or tones for the clean, clean tone or edge of breakup style tone. So let's hear these in solo now. So this is the heavy part. There's definitely a lot of mid-range there, uh, which I think is a big difference between what I was hearing with the uh, with the Christian Cola IRs. There's some mid-range, but there's definitely more mid-range in these Callies, so, which isn't a bad thing. I mean, it, it actually cuts through the mix pretty well. So let's hear what it sounds like on this clean tone now. Again, really nice. A lot of, again, the kind of the rounded top end, nice and pristine, some good mid range. So that is an example of what this amp sim sounds like running through some additional external IRs. And as you can hear, it sounds fantastic. Really, really good. Uh, in fact, I've been digging this amp a lot lately. And this, this track is something I started writing as I was inspired playing through this amp sim. So I decided I'm gonna go ahead and just 
start writing something because I was sitting here chugging away and then playing with some of the clean tones and came up with this short little audio sample. And I have a feeling I'm gonna keep working on this because I kind of like the direction this is going and this amp sim is very inspiring. And again, I've said this like a hundred times already, but the thing is free until December 1st, 2021. And no, I don't work for Audio Assault. And no, this is not a sponsored video. Uh, I just really, really, really like this amp sim a lot and I don't want you to miss out on something so incredible that you could get for free. So look, again, look for the link to download in the description below. And so I hinted to this previously, how versatile this amp is. Well, the bass tone that you've heard all throughout these in context demos where you hear the, the drums and the bass and the guitar and everything, the bass tone is actually the Black Sun. I just blew your mind. I know it. I told you I was gonna blow your mind. So this thing actually does bass tones and it does it really damn well. So let's walk through how I set that up. All right, so breaking down the bass tone. So the way that I do my bass, which if you follow my, if you've seen my channel for a while, you've been following my channel, you've probably seen me go over this time and time again. I do a kind of like a 200 hertz split where 200 hertz and below is DI, no processing whatsoever, just the straight DI bass. Then 200 hertz and up, I go through an amp with maybe some IRs, maybe not, depending on kind of the, the context of the mix and how it sounds, but uh, with this one, I'm going to show you both with and without IRs, but for this, it's, again, 200 hertz and below is just straight coming from gin bass. Submission audio is gin bass. 200 hertz and up is also coming from the DI from gin bass, but we're going through the black sun, and it's right here. There are no impulse responses being used, but again, I will show you what it sounds like with some impulse responses. So here is a, a an example of what the bass tone sounds like from this black sun. And this is both the DI, uh, the low end below 200 hertz and above, which is running through the black sun. And I'll solo each so you can hear them. That, that sounds so damn good. I mean, when when I saw that black, the, the audio assault sent me an email saying, hey, did you know black sun does bass tones? And then they're, they're selling like a, an expansion preset pack for like $3.99 or something that has some presets that comes with some like, f uh, what is it, like uh, 8x10 uh, base cab IRs so that you can load up the I those those base cab IRs in the plugin and use it as a base. But I found you don't even really need the IRs and I already have some, so I figured I, I didn't necessarily need to buy that. But that gave me the idea. Let me see what this thing can do. And it does it really damn well. So here is... Uh, how I split the bass. So again, 200 hertz. So this is the 200 hertz and below, which is just this kind of the sub bass. So that's all it is. And then the 200 hertz and up, which which is running through the the black sun, which adds that gnarly kind of you know distortion and grit and all that. And then of course again you put them both together and you get this. sounds absolutely amazing. And so the settings I'm using here on the Black Sun is, you know, we're using the noise gate, which I probably didn't even need, uh, but it's on by default. I just left it on. Um, and then the amp settings we're, we're going through, uh, you can see them here. We're in the high gain, but as I'm, you can see here, the, the gain itself is at 0 0.3. Um, and I found that even just like 0.4 takes it too much and 0.2 is just not enough, at least for what I was looking for. 0.3 was kind of the, the, the chef kiss. All right, and then those are all the individual settings. And again, the cab and effect sections, those are all turned off. There are no impulse responses on this tone at all, and I thought it sounded great just like that without any impulse responses. But because I wanted to give you an example of what it sounds like with some bass impulse responses, I loaded up Neural DSP Dark Glass Ultra, but you can see the dark glass itself is turned off. This is just the impulse responses, and we're using a, a Dynamic 52A with a Dynamic 57, you can see the individual settings there. And so let me turn this on. And this is what it sounds like with the impulse responses. Still sounds really, really good. Obviously it kind of sounds a little bit more like a bass there, but I think in the context of the mix, I like it 
more without the IR, but I'll play it back with the IR and then disable this so you can hear the difference kind of in real time. I'll start with the IR on and then disable it. Just, you get a lot more kind of that top end, pick attack and all of that without the impulse response. So anyways, uh, this is an incredible plugin. You heard some heavy chugging uh, guitar tones with multiple impulse responses and how well this amp works with impulse responses, external impulse responses specifically. Uh, you heard some clean and edge of breakup style tones, again running through both the, the default built-in cab loader with the, the Black Sun 4x12, which comes with this plugin. You also heard it with a couple external IR, IRs and how well that sounded. And then I just blew your mind with using this Black Sun amp sim as your bass tone and, and how well that works. So it's free, it's extremely versatile, it can make up your entire bass and guitar suite if you wanted to. It has the built-in effects, it's got it all. So download this thing, don't miss out. December 1st, 2021 is the last day you'll be able to get this thing for free. Once again, look for the link in the description below. With that, I wanna thank you for watching this video and sticking around this long. I know this is a bit of a longer video, but thank you for sticking around. If you like this video, if you like this style of review and this style of content, do me a favor, hit that like button down below and consider subscribing to my channel for more like this in the future. With that, I wanna thank you for watching and thank you for your support.